what's up guys it's back here with another video and i'm gonna be breaking down ufc fight night max holloway versus yair rodriguez it's gonna be a crazy stand-up affair between these two guys i cannot wait if you're new welcome hit the subscribe button bring those bells to get all notifications of when i post up videos and let's get right to the breakdown so max holloway Yair Rodriguez, I guess it's finally happening um, November 13, I believe, and uh, at UFC Fight Night in Vegas at the Apex. Uh, Max Holloway coming off a, a crazy striking clinic over Calvin Cater. Like, I've never seen, I mean, I've seen Max Holloway dominate like that, but I've never seen a guy like Max Holloway go out there and and do what he did against um, Calvin Cater. Uh, that was a great fight, great war, nutrition. Like it, it was just a phenomenal fight. And it's, it's that those are one of those fights that you're definitely gonna go watch again. You know, um, Yair Rodriguez. I believe he hasn't fought in a while. Um, Yair, I think the last time I remember watching Yair Rodriguez, I would definitely say was when he fought uh, Jeremy Stephen again. After the first fight was like, you know, got messed up or whatever. Uh, Yair, Yair Rodriguez has been out of the cage for whatever unknown reasons. Um, he's, again, it's, gonna, it's a great fight between, because we got a boxer versus a straight Taekwondo type kicker. You know, and just throws shots at weird angles. You know, I think this is a tough fight for uh, Max Holloway. Even with Max Holloway being how he is right now. Uh, because I think Yair can be very unpredictable. And if you, I, I believe it was Yair Rodriguez versus the, versus the Korean Zombie. That that was a freaking war, you know. And I I, I believe that this fight here is going to be a war of nutrition. Who's going to want it more? Um, for Max Holloway, I feel like it's a must-win situation. You know, he won his last fight against Calvin Kidd, as I just said. Um, I feel like whoever wins this. Is gonna kind of put themselves into a title fight, you know. Depending on how the fight goes, I, I, I guarantee that's gonna be freaking bananas. You know, these two guys they love to scrap. Max Holloway loves to scrap. He don't even spar no more. I feel like he. I hope he just stays like that. You know, don't spar. Like if you're gonna be looking like that, how he did against Cater, and that's without even sparring. I feel like after the the later of your career, I mean. Sparring can feel like a necessity, but if you spar into like trying to kill each other all the time, you know, later stages of your career, you don't want to get hurt. Fight's coming up. So I feel like fighters should tone it down a little bit when it comes to sparring, especially when it's as close to the fight. Um, and not go crazy and try to knock out the person that, you know, having a fight coming up soon. You know, I don't do all that type of sparring at the beginning, you know, so if I get hurt, you know, like, I ain't got to worry about, like, oh, I'll pull out because I just, I fucked myself up or whatever. Um, like I said, Yair Rodriguez, great, crazy kicks for Max Holloway. He's going to have to smother Yair Rodriguez. Don't let him kick, but still watch out with the spinning shit. You know, he has a great spinning elbow on Yair Rodriguez. You know, I, I feel like it's definitely going to be standing up. I don't think none of these guys are going to want to take it down to the ground unless it's there. And if somebody just gets hurt or whatever, you know, it's a tough fight. I, I can't wait. I feel like Max needs to do a lot of leg kicks, throw leg kicks in this fight against Yair. If you take, if you chop his legs away, he's not going to be able to kick as much. He's going to have to box with you. And that'll play into Max Holloway's favor. Because I feel like Max Holloway, for the featherweight, he is one of the best at boxing. You know, his boxing is very crisp. You know, uh, he can kick as well. Like I said, but um, I feel like his boxing is the most crisp boxing for MMA hands like I've ever seen. You know, there are not a lot of people I've seen in the UFC who can box the way Max Holloway does. And it just looks beautiful and effortless when he throws his strikes. It, it's just phenomenal to see him, his fights and to see him fight. Um, so, yeah, I hope, you know, I'm pretty sure Max Holloway is going to come away with the victory. And go on to possibly face Alexander Rokonowski again. 
and that's my breakdown between Yair Rodriguez and Max Holloway. Um, also, guys, please leave a like and a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.